did work. And now, Orianna, I would say Jensen's number one signature pick is here in game one of the final. And with these last two lock-ins of the mid laners, I don't right expect... There. So there is a play to be had. It could be a knockout on a double. You can see Crochet playing towards the back. The slow is there. The knockout's gonna find one! And they're burning down Crochet! First blood for G2 in the final! Ace Smithy has to run for the hills as TP comes in from an extra member. There is no extra kill to be had as Caps looks for a bind, finds damage on a double. If he's still taking the shots, onto the turret they go! Forcing the flash! What a For play. now, a safe recall, but that recall can be stopped. There are wards in that brush. Great positioning there from Core JJ to keep his AD carry alive. They're and gonna they're... go. Ooh, they're going on Ace Smithy. They know double isn't there. The slow is there on a Tom Kench. He can eat for a little bit, but he's gonna be knocked up. And here comes the TP from everyone else. They try to buy some time, but Core JJ is gonna die yet again. No TP for doubles instead of Swain here. And the gangplank as well. The barrels come in, but there's no chain. He's got the flash back to safety. The knockup coming in. They're gonna get yet another one. A double kill for perks. And kills G obviously means a lot more on perks. And we now have the attempt towards top lane. A slow. Now comes the cage on top without flash. No easy way out for impact. Trying to run. Not Reuter just yet, but here comes the Swain ultimate. And they might just have the damage. Oh, he's running for dear life. The flash as soon as he's able to get it. Wonder. They're losing just across the board. They might be losing even some more as the fourth play comes out of the top lane. Here comes a dive on impact yet again. Demonic Ascension, but can they burn him down? Yes, Double Lift is there to turn around the first kill of the final, but Yanko's able to cleanly walk away. The pressure on. The next Drake has spawned very recently. We have five minutes until Baron, but the mid lane's already there. That bastard of defense just being shut down. One kill picked up, ready to expit me, and look out for Jensen. Rooted Shockwave is not going to be enough. They trade one for to the end of it all, and now Yanko's able to walk away off that kill. Yet that's not over. And Wonder's gonna find one as well. Impact is summonerless. He's trying to get away from the slows. He's got Cory JJ, but Yanko finds a knockup. Now trying to theory him to safety. Pushed away, but Mickey X finds it again. They look for the kill and the support, and they will get yet another. It's 11 to 2, and G2 cannot be stopped. And Siege goes for yet another round, and it's Team Liquid backing off. A little bit away from there, but they will submit. And they will knock down one. Now here comes the engagement again. Mickey X finding several charms. The Dunk comes in, but Corey today, very scarred a safety. Wonder coming in with the Demonic Ascension. Has a lot of damage available. Explodes it for one. Almost knocks down Xmithy. No deaths just yet. Impact's had to run away. Slowed down now by Cat. Finds it to come in. Shockwave finds a bit of damage, but no kills just yet. It's two for G2 and make it a third. They will not be stopped as they push through to the mid lane. And the 2 2 turret will fall. Xmithy is barely getting the recall away, but this is G2 pushing into the inhibitor turret. G2 rip through team. Liquid in game one, only 18 and a half minutes, and they find themselves another three kills. Slow, and now a bind for the Smithy. Will this be the engage? They put the feathers down. No root. Shockwave on the three. Here comes the engage for Mickey, though. Gets the first knockup. Looks for the backline time. Plenty of damage coming through as the Smithy trying to run away. The turret's gonna drop, but no champions just yet. Caps very low, but not dead either. Impact TPing in, and now on the backside, here comes Demon Flare, and it's a double kill already. Team Liquid pushed completely off. Double inhibitor gonna fall. The Nexus soon to follow. Baron buff on G2, all five members standing, and they are on the Nexus turrets. G2's first international championship since 2011 could be coming in now. One Nexus turret falling. They hope as game one of three could happen for them, but they will back off. 23 minutes in, they will wait. They will reset with more than a minute of bear and the flash re-engage. They caught Jensen unaware. What a great kill for Mickey. They find the second as well. So 3,000 gold lead through that buff as double inhibitors are down and this Bottom and Hib will drop its turret at the very least. Team Liquid gonna back off a nice bind. Is this the engage? He's gonna be grabbed by Core J. David. Here comes the duck, and here's the engage by Wonder once again as they look for these kills. A big charm and a knockout in the back line. It's already one kill. Make it a second as the Team Liquid members are falling fast and furious. G2 Esports in commanding fashion will take game one of the 2019 MSI Finals. Europe versus North America, and G2 strikes first. Great early aggressive. There it is. Olaf, there is the pike we expected at this point. We are no longer surprised yeah, by a top lane pike. We are no longer surprised by top lane. And confidence in the bottom lane is double of chunk down to 200 HP. They'll find a stun and a thrash, but Yankos could go for a big flight. Another flight into the flash knockup, and Core JJ will be knocked down for Yankos' second first blood of the match. Three out of four summoner spells oh, burned. Uh, which means that Yankos could look for a potential play once again, bot lane. And now Jensen's got to be careful as well. Not going to hit just yet, but we know Caps can try to find something. Looks for the stun, not getting it yet. Now the rest of the squad is here, three on three. As now Perks is over the wall. This is a fight that G2 might win. Look at it, Yankos. He's flashless, and Jensen is on the board. But now it's towards Core JJ. He will be shut down as well as G2 answer. Side of them losing all their summoners bot was the fact that they got oh. a lot of turret plates top, but now it could be terrible. For team just players. Ash Arrow. They hit the stun on the Perks, but here comes the knockup there towards Core JJ. TP comes in as Caps joins in. They find the first. Nice stop. 
not much buys time, but the drag row, it's gonna be easy to juggle around as Perks finds kill number two, and G2 up four to one. Now Jensen is here, but he is very much outnumbered. Dives in for a fight. Look at the crowd control, has to flash away. Now it's impact on top, and it's Team Liquid looking for a comeback kill, but they cannot quite find it. Finally, Protoma gets one, impact. He's gonna find number two, and he saves the bottom lane. Because the longer they wait, if Pike can find those kills, he very quickly comes back. Oh, it's a flash for the first stun. Plenty damage was impact. Now trying to stay alive with slicing Maelstrom. But here comes the rest of it. Oh, Protobo buys a bit of space, but still strong. And there's CG right now. Demolish is on. Plenty of damage. Finding a stun onto the support. But again, the ult comes across, stopping TL, pushing them back. Now where they're being engaged, he's exhausted. He's taking a lot of damage. Impact's gonna try for the play. He's already burned the flash, but he can't get into the opposing lineup and will not find a single stun. A clean disengage for G2. I think that how each team executes upon these fights will be so crucial in how this game plays out. It's the Enchanted Crystal Arrow lands. Uh, Corey J tanks it and burns the guns to get away from this one, but that is still a great craft. Enchanted Crystal Arrow, as one turret does fall. Now the hook into his impact. They try to burn him down. He gets a stopwatch off, but not the slicing maelstrom. Here comes the engage. It's all about Olaf, and it's about a call. He wonder finds the first at impact. It's a one for one so far to the back line. Jensen finds a second. Smithy is low, but the team able to push forward. Team Liquid lose the turret. They win the fight. Now it's time for round two. Jensen is low, cannot find the kill. It is Cap who says he can get the kill and sends him back to Lissandra. It's 3v3 now in this fight as the channel comes in. Look for the pull. G2 get kill number three and number four. Doublelift is alone. And he will die! The ace for G2! Idiot to capitalize on, and they were able to get the output. Top side. Looking for Caps, he does have the Akali ult under his wing, so he can get really, really far. TP now comes in for the squad. Look how much damage he gets towards Jensen. Nearly picks up the kill, and the reinforcements are in. A stopwatch burn, and in goes Cannon, trying to turn it around. One for zero, make it one for one, as Wonder is now dead. Xmithy trying to stay alive with the kills. Just come through fast and furious. G2 win yet another team fight. On an outer turret, G2 will not be stopped this close to the championship. Things were so close between these two teams. Ooh, Caps, he's looking for Cold Hit JJ. Uh, he's gonna get that kill, I pretty much guarantee it. Braum running for his life, but he's gonna fall as well. The damage Make double have dropped about two thirds. Regening up now. This mid turret gonna be taking a lot of damage now as well. And Team Liquid unable to defend that one. As now the arrow comes in, barely dodged away by Jensen. That could have been a kill pick. You always have the threat of a five man in the event that TL tried to fight. Another attempt right now is pretty good damage comes out of Caps, but able to walk away, not getting caught just yet, waiting for what could be an engage out of TL. The turret chunked lower and lower. Two more cannon shots will knock it down. And right now, now looking at the bottom side, a nice stun, and Wonder kites away. Now, is this the attempt for impact? They find a slow. They find almost the stun, and Yanko's gonna burn the stopwatch. This could be the team fight. In they go as he's still slicing Maelstrom! And it is just that, slicing up Team Liquid. And suddenly it's one versus the world, and he cannot stop it. A clean ace, and even as fast as the last one. G2 looking at a sub 30 minute win, and they are a single game away from your first ever MSI trophy g2 the kings of europe about to be the kings of the world roams from your jungler and your support jarvin and rakan will try and assist aurelia in getting kills onto that syndra early on in the game now we go bottom side Ooh, double lift has been left by himself. Here they go. Level two, looking for the engage, but Corey Jay is around. They're gonna find the first knockup. Plenty of damage there. Headbutt buys him out of space, and a three-man pull over the first one still does come through. G2 Esports on the board, three games in a row first. And over a ward, so even though he comes mid lane, Jensen should know his whereabouts. It's Smithy setting up the counter. All right, trying to bait in for the play. Here comes the first stun. Here comes the engage. Barrier pop flashing away. Will there be a stun? Can there be an answer kill for Team Liquid? Forcing one flash out. Now they need the stun on the Yanko, so they're gonna find that with all the damage, and Jensen will get on the board. Out Summoner's Rift, top to bottom. Now he's still keeping up the dive onto Xmithy. Walks forward, finds some damage, gonna flash in the smite! Oh, it's a couple of seconds bot, though. Impact's gonna stay alive. Now, will there be a repeat heal? Will there be something else as the aftershock comes in, survives the damage, Jankos at 100, puts the flag down, reveal his location. Xmithy trying to hide away. They still don't have the cooldown on Syndra's ult back up. They might try for the attempt right here if you can find the QE. Nice juke by Cap, but will be hit a little bit. Nice double stun comes in. Ult comes in as well. He's got a lot of a playground to play around with. They find that first stun. They find some damage, but Ignite means he will get the solo kill in the 1v2. And Caps tries it for Jensen. And here comes Mickey. G2. Right there is the best mid laner in Europe. Maybe the best mid laner in the world. Look at his performances now. Looking at more and a double forcing him again to burn both summoners the second they come back up. I'm just afraid of what uh, Yankos could have done to him. 
This is the lane going away, and a re-engage in the mid-side. They find a stun. Stopwatch popped as well. And will it be any kills for TL? Forced outside of the cage. Caps, he will not go down without two in history. Well, the Rift Herald's gonna help them along with that. Freak, Charge yep. gets off on the secondary turret here, and this might go down. Taking a lot of damage. The Herald will fall. Finally, a fight that won that TL can win. Yankos drops, but Caps is under the turret! And he gets away with it too. Finally stunned, a bit more damage in, but he's still not dead. He's still healing. They might have the damage, and finally he's down, TL he's down. <laughs> he actually died. And now forced to play on the defense. Teleport coming in. They also have a roam for Mickey in the river. Look at the play right now. Wonder puts in the pop and gets the shield, finds a single stun. In comes Mickey. Will it be a single kill? Yes, impact is on the board. And can they get a little more? This is the comeback TL needs, but it is teammates, and Yanko's coming up. They will clear the wave, they will back up, but there's gonna be an engage. Oh, that was just a clone. <laughs> they find the slow, over the wall they go, looking for Jensen, plenty of damage there, but he's gonna be fine walking away, looking for the stun. Henning predicts the flash, actually a good stun there, but no kills to be had. Instead, the base is being seed. They are being taken down right now. G2 unwilling to be stopped, the turret's still in their eyes, feathers fly, and G2 will pull Ooh. back. That's a big stun, that's a big engage! Oh my gosh, look at the fight! They look for kill number four. This might be an ace inside of the base, inside of 18 minutes. The mid inhibitor will surely fall. And G2 ripped through the hearts of Team Liquid and North American fans as they secure themselves in the top of the world. There is no chance TL comes back from this. They're already on to the Nexus turrets. This is what peak League of Legends looks like, and it comes from Europe, a world record. G2 Esports 3-0 will win MSI 2019.